this and do the sound where we can create a war or simply by using this word saying to the person that you actually love say I love you but then again why is it so that not everyone tend to listen to you when you actually speak right because I will tell you now a Harvard study that says the seven C of speaking. The first one is gossip. We all know that when you gossip a person, the person is not there, shut it up. Because the next thing that you know, you're the next subject. The second one is judgment. We all know that when we actually speak on somebody else and you are being judged, that's the hardest part to take. The third one is negativity. Everyone could be negative in this world. Everyone. But believe it or not, you can change this perfectly. The third one is complaining. I hear this every now and then to the people that has J-O-B. The one that's actually working 9 to 5. Nurses that's working 12 hours a day, putting their time and effort to care to the sick people, right? Next one is excuses. A lot of people tend to say excuses because they don't want to be out of their comfort zone, right? The sixth one is exaggeration. It is where you can create a creativity imaginary where you inflate the story and it's better yet, close to lying. So the last one is dogmatism. Dogmatism is something that no matter how hard you have this validation, people will tell you that's not true, right? So why am I saying this? You're gonna tell me, Kim, is there really a possibility on this subject? And I will tell you now that there is. It's called hail. H-A-I-L, hell. It's not the hell that's coming from the heaven. It is not the hell going onto your head. It's hell. Can anybody tell me what does hell stands for? H stands for? Anybody? No? Okay. H is, stands for honesty, of course. Right? So, when a person is honest to you, and you have, you know, dignity, people will tend to believe on whatever you said. Right? So second one, write it down, is authenticity. Jack is an authentic person because all his context is pure based on experience. I is integrity. You validate whatever you said. And that is Rex. And L, what is L, guys? Come on, guys, you can do better than this. Wrong. <laughs> L stands for love. Right? Love. Because each one of you guys has a heart that you can listen to do the right thing. Now, why am I telling this? Why am I telling all of this, guys? Because what if we use this word hell in the environment of PFA and we have one heartbeat? What's going to happen to our business? In the next five years, our business will explode tremendously. Yeah. Yeah. Right? So, back then, let me tell you this story, right? July 19, when my mentor, Jack, found me last year. I was only one diner. I was only one diner. And guess what, guys? That's only six months from before, right? Did you count it? Six months from before. And guess what? Three days ago, we're like the third diner. Third diner. And Chinese school, so he said, you born in a snake. Because, you know, you're, you have no luck today. But guess what? Back to back, January 5th, 
I built Team Gold seven months. We hit our dry jacket. January 6, we hit our RFB. Last, last um, convention, Jack, I was top 25. Since you mentored me, I was number two personal convention. But let me tell you guys this. Don't listen to any negativity around you. Especially the people who has big impact on you and say negative stuff. Would you imagine if, if I if I listen to the gossip thing and saying PFS come, I wouldn't be standing in front of you guys. A living proof. Right? So now let me tell you one more thing. I wouldn't be standing here fulfilling my mom to buy a house. In, in 18 months being in PFA, I was able to buy three houses. And I found my workhouse here yesterday, which is Texas, right? So I will do this as an inspiration to each and every one of you guys. Listen to the right voice. Because in the first beginning, I only listened to him. Granny bribes me and says, Kim, you know, he bribes me. He says, Go attend the meeting, you know, we're gonna do this. And I was like, no. If it's Jack, call me. Yeah. <laughs> That's the honest truth, believe it or not. That's the honest truth. And Randy could attest to that in all my PFA number. But one thing that I want to leave from you guys, a lot of people is asking me, Kim, why is it that you really, really wanna try? Why is it that you really, really wanna be successful in life? I will give you one quote that my dad told me. In order for you to succeed, and how hard you breathe, that you can be successful. Let's bring this up 2022 to the next level, guys. Thank you.